Okay, good day, grade 4. So, our topic for this week, week 2, quarter 2 in mathematics 4, we have product of its prime factors, finding the common factors, finding the greatest common factor or the GCF of two numbers using the following methods, which is listing, prime factorization, and continuous division. And also, we are going to find the least common multiple, or the LCM, um, using also the following methods, the listing, the prime factorization, and continuous division. So we have here um, common terms, the prime factors, the common factors, greatest common factor, the common multiples, least common multiple, listing, prime factorization, continuous division. So those, um, those common terms, it is discussed natin yan today, one by one, kung paano ba sila kunin or kung paano ba natin makukuha ang bawat common terms na yan. Okay, so let us try, let us start to prime numbers or prime factorization. So we all know that prime numbers has exactly two factors, one and itself. So let us have the examples again of a prime numbers. Okay, so we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, 5, 7, and 11. So those are the example of a prime number. So what is the factor of that prime number? So we have, so 1, 1 times 1. So 2, 1 times 2. So 3, 1 times 3. So 5, 1 times 5. 7, 1 times 7, and 11, 1 times 11. So as you can see, itong mga prime numbers na ito, ito lamang po ang kanilang factors. Imumultiply lamang po sila sa 1 at sa kanilang mga sarili. So, ayan po ang example ng prime numbers. Now, let us find the prime factors. Ano nga ba itong prime factors na ito? At kung paano ba natin sila makukuha? So, prime factorization means finding the unique sets of primes so that a multiply up to given composite numbers. So, itong prime factorization na ito, na andyan yan sa so module ninyo, first topic, kung paano ba natin ito ma kukuha. Okay? So, sabi dito, a unique sets of primes. Okay? To that, a multiply to a given composite number. So, ibig sabihin, once na pinactor natin or once na kinuha natin yung prime factor ng isang number, dapat yung mga factors na yun ay puros prime numbers. Kaya, tinawag siyang prime factorization or prime factors. So, paano ba natin makukuha ito? Okay? So, we are going to use a factor 3. Okay? Yan. Gagawa tayo ng ganyan to find the prime factors of a number. Okay? So, let us have this example. Okay. So, 40. We are going to find the prime factors of 40. That is, is, that is an example in your module. Nasa module nyo yan. Yan yung first example. So, meron ako dito two words which is prime and composite. Okay, yung prime is ginawa kong blue and then yung composite is red. Okay, so makikita natin kung ano yung mga numbers na nasa prime at ano yung mga numbers na nasa composite. Okay, so let us start. 40. You're going to think two numbers um, na pag multiply mo is 40 yung sagot. Okay, so meaning we are going to find the factors of 40. So tignan natin. Okay, so we have 4 times 10. Okay, that is one of the factor of 40. 4 times 10. So as you can see, 4 is composite number and 10 is also a composite number. So meaning, may factor pa itong dalawang ito. Okay? I-factor natin sila ulit na dalawa. 
So, what is the factor of 4? We have 2 times 2. Ayan. So, as you can see, the factor of 4 is 2 times 2. And 2 is a prime number. And also, 2 is a prime number. So, meaning, pag nasa prime number na kayo, class, doon na kayo mag stop mag-factor. Kasi po, si 2, 1 times 2 lang naman po ang factor. And also, yung 2, 1 times 2 na lang po ang factor. So, stop na po kayo dyan once na nakuha nyo na yung prime factors. The next, how about si 10? What is the factor of 10? Okay, we have 2 times 5. So, that is also uh, a prime numbers. Okay? So, kung makikita nyo, yung mga numbers na nasa baba are all prime numbers na. Ibig sabihin, 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 are prime factors of 40. I-check natin. Okay? So, ito yan. Yung 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Tignan natin kung 40 ang sagot. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 5 is 40. So, meaning... 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 is the prime factor of 40. Okay? So, ayan. Yan ang prime factor ng 40. Okay? So, another example. Okay. So, we're going to find the prime factor of 18. Okay? So, again, you're going to think two numbers that when you multiply, the answer is 18. So, tignan natin. Okay, 2 times 9, correct? So, that is factor of 18. 2 times 9, pwede rin yan class 3 times 6. Tama? So, kayo na mag-iisip. Okay? So, 2 times 9 is 18. Then, as you can see, 2 is a prime number and 9 is composite number. So, meaning si 9, ipa-factor pa natin. Okay? So, what is the factor of 9? 3 times 3. Okay. So, again, the factor of 9 is 3 times 3. We're in 3 and 3 is a prime number. So, meaning mag stop na tayo. So, 2 times 3 times 3. is the prime factor of 18. Let us check. So, 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18. So, this is the prime factor of 18. Okay? So, pag nakagawa na kayo ng um, factor 3, kukunin nyo na lamang po yung mga prime numbers. And then, i-check nyo kung tama ba pag pinag-multiply nyo silang uh, mga prime numbers. So, dito sa 18, yung 2, 3, and 3 is the prime factor of 18. Kasi pag minultiply mo silang tatlo, the answer is 18. So, yun yung tinatawag na prime factor. Big sabihin, yung factor nitong um, number na ito are all prime. So, tignan nyo, yung 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number also. Okay? So, ayun, napakadali lang kung paano kunin ang prime factor. Okay? Okay, 24. Try nyo nga ang 24. What is the factor of 24? Or prime factor of 24? Write it in your notebook. 